Hello, this is Keith Johnson, and in this short help movie, we're going to be looking at the Staff Cover program. This is the program that allows you to calculate very quickly, very efficiently, very fairly who should cover for absent colleagues or for special events in school during the course of the day. It comes in five parts. There's a section here, which is echoed here, which allows you to uh, enter what the situation is today, so you tell Staff Cover who's away or what special events he might have. The section here which calculates the cover and then prints it out or sends it as emails to your colleagues. We'll be looking at that in a moment. The section here which allows you to locate a teacher even though their normal timetable has changed because they're doing cover and they might not be where you expect them to be. And the same thing with the class. You can locate a class even if the class has had to move room because of an internal exam or whatever. Then there's a section where you can customize the program. Most people don't use this, but it's there if you want to, to customize the program in a huge variety of ways. And finally, there's a section up here with statistics. If you need to prove to somebody about the statistics or keep a record of things, Staff Cover does that automatically and draws it as graphs and um, tables in various ways. So we'll have a look at that later on. So let's begin by looking what you do typically on a normal day with Staff Cover using either this section or this section. And there are four screens here, one, two, three, four. You can get to them using the function key on the top of your keyboard, F1, F2, F3, and F4. Let's look at this one first of all, the staff not free. These are staff who are in school today, but when they have a free period, they're not available to do cover. Something is happening, and you need to tell staff cover that although they're free and in school, they're not available to do cover. So I've entered one here, for instance. I said Frank Hickson up here is due to meet a parent. FHI is his staff code from period one to period one, in other words, during period one, and when normally he'd be free, and then he's teaching the rest of the day. But he's meeting the parents. Now I've entered it over here. There's Frank Hickson. From period one to period one, he's meeting a parent. I could have entered a whole pile of other reasons, but that's the reason I've entered meeting a parent. Down here it tells me the time is 8.28. I've got 32 minutes to go in this school where the day starts at 9 o'clock. So it gives me now an idea of how much time I've got left to finish off entering this data on the screens. That's screen one. Let's close that and let's look at screen two. This is a screen about special events. Are there any special events in school today that need covering? I've entered one here. Here's a maths exam. The maths exam is from period two, period three, and period four. Like that. Not period one, but periods two, three, and four. And I've entered it over here. Maths exam. I haven't specified a particular teacher, although I could do. I've told them the room we wanted, we wanted to be in the hall from period 2 to period 4 and any class that normally would be in the hall I want to move it to the gym. So a class that's normally in the hall would have to be moved out. Now with 31 minutes to go I'm going to close that screen. Go to the third screen. Are there any supply teachers in school today? Not, not to cover supervisors that would be in school all the time but any special supply teachers that you brought in for today. Here's one I've entered, Mrs Robinson. Mrs Robinson is in school from period 1 to period 4. I could have assigned her to a particular teacher. If I know, for instance, a history teacher is away and she's a history graduate, I could assign her to that teacher, but I haven't done so in this case. I've just left the program to decide which classes she'll cover. So I close that and finally look at the fourth screen, which is the most common one, where you say who is away today, which teachers are absent today. So I've entered a couple. Here's J. Clark, John Clark, whose initials are JC. He's in hospital from period 1 to period 6, which is the whole day in this school. And just to remind me, it shows he would normally be teaching periods 1, 2, and 3. He'd be free period 4, but then pe teaching period 5 and 6, and therefore needing cover in those periods. So I'm shown over here. John Clark is in hospital from period 1 to period 6. Second person, Hilary Kirby. Over here, Hilary Kirby. She's ill today from period 1 to period 6. Let me add another one. Click on Add. The fields turn bright yellow to remind me I'm entering something. Let me enter Jim Mason, who I'm going to say is on jury service for the whole day from period 1 to period 6. But again, I can show which periods are. Um, I can specify an end date if I know he's going to be away for several days, and so I don't have to keep entering it every day. And I can enter notes, either internally for my benefit, or notes that will appear on the uh, printouts and the emails, whichever you choose. I'm going to confirm that. So Jim Mason is now on the list, and he's teaching period one and period two, it's free period three, but you need covering period three, period four, and period five and period six. Thirty minutes to go to the deadline. Close on that, and now having entered the data, I can now calculate the cover. I can look ahead if I want to to the next week. I can calculate the cover by clicking on the F5 button here. 
reminds me that Frank Hickson isn't available today in period one. And here's the cover timetable for today. Let's look and see what is here. Remember I entered the maths exam which I said was on period two, period three and period four. And the program has automatically assigned Mrs. Geeth to period two, Mrs. Daniels to period three, and Mrs. Paley to period four. I can change those as you'll see in a moment if you want to, but that's what's been assigned by the program. Then there are three teachers who are away today. There's Mr. Mason, who is a maths teacher. In the first period, he doesn't need cover because he would have been teaching the sixth form, and I've already set up the program to so say actually we don't cover the sixth form in this particular school. You can change it, obviously, but that's what it's saying there. He'd have 12 maths, but he doesn't need it because it's a sixth form lesson they can look after themselves. In period two, he will be teaching 9ABC, and it's the program that assigned Mrs. Robbins, that supply teacher. And swap it, as we'll see in a moment. In period three, he wouldn't be teaching, so no cover is required. In period four, he would be teaching 10 ABC maths, but the supply teacher is covering for that. In period five, he would be teaching 11 ABC maths in room upper school seven. And Mrs. Hall, who's also a maths teacher, has been assigned because she's free, she's a maths teacher, so she's been assigned. And in the final period, Mr. Wilson, who's also a maths teacher, has been assigned. And similarly for Mr. Clark during the course of the day, and for Mrs. Kirby. Who is a science teacher? There's a science teacher, Ms. Squindrod has been assigned there, Mr. Chadwick there, free, free, and then Mrs. Simister has been applied there, Mr. Partington there. You can add notes to each of these things so that when the, these people, when Mr. Chadwick here, for instance, when he receives his cover slip asking him to do the cover, because he's free in period two, but want him to cover Mrs. Kirby's lesson, you can add notes, and that's what this red triangle appears in here. So the notes I've applied there, please take the class to upper room 34, work has been set, ask the te lab technician for the work. So you can add notes like that so that the teacher can uh, have the special instructions. You can find tunes you want to. Suppose, for instance, here, Mrs. Simister, perhaps you feel that uh, she's been used a lot for cover lately, or perhaps uh, she's asked, could she not do cover today? You can swap it. So, Mrs. Simister is a science teacher here. You can swap her with people on the reserve row down here. Mr. Abrams is free in this period, but he's a maths teacher. Let's look at the second reserve, second reserves. Here's Mr. Curtis, who's free. So, I can drag Mr. Curtis up to there. And now Mr. Curtis is going to be doing the cover, and Mrs. Sinister is down as first reserve. So you can do whatever fine tuning you like. If it's a really bad day and you want emergency cover, you can switch emergency cover on. If, for instance, uh, the head and deputies don't normally do cover, but in emergencies do, you can switch it on to say be uh, make them available, use them for cover today as well. Um, you can also switch on be aware. And it shows you over there with bright colours anything that you need to be aware of that you might not have noticed, any missing cover, anybody who's covering twice a day, and so on. So, like that. When you've got the cover the way you want it, you click on close, and you're now ready to distribute the cover either on paper or by way of emails. And there are two formats one is the master cover timetable, which you get by the F6 key, and that looks like this if it's on paper. It's a master cover timetable and it shows the maths exam and who should be covering it, Mr. Mason's lessons and who should be covering them, Mr. Clark's lessons and Mrs. Kirby's lessons and who should be covering them, including any notes, like we said for Mr. Chadwick. And that can go on paper to be who you pinned up on the staff room notice board. Or you can arrange you, uh, using the email button down here. You can send us an email, for instance, to the head who might want a copy to yourself so you have a copy on you while you go to teach in case anybody rings in to say... Uh, Nobody's covering that class. So that's the master cover timetable. More usually, you're looking at the cover slips, which in this case have been printed three to a sheet of paper. Here's one, here's a second, here's a third. So it has on it sentences which you can customize to whatever you like. It's saying here, for Lauren Holder High School, to Mrs. A. Hawley, I'd be grateful you would cover the following period 5, 11, there is CD for math set, two in room of school. It's from Mr. Mason. Thank you, Deputy Head. Or whatever personal messages you want on there try and ease the uh, the experience for the teacher and you can either print it on paper like that or you can send it by clicking on here you can send it as emails to the named member of staff so that's basically the main part of cover as I say you can locate a teacher or locate a class you can customize it in a variety of ways then you can also look at statistics you can look at the graph of the cover done you can look at the future cover records, including lessons absent, the cover done per teacher per week for the last 13 weeks, the cover done per teacher per day for a specific week any time in the last uh, year, 
teacher absence record, the reasons why teacher absent, the cover that was provided, each person's cover loading, because you can vary the cover loading as whether people should do more or less cover, depending whether they're a part time or whether they're a year tutor or a deputy head and so on. Look at the reasons for each teacher to be covered, individual statistics in detail, and so on and so on and so on, including a pie chart of absence reason, a pie chart of absence by faculty, to see which factors have been hit most of all. So the whole range of statistics there which obviously you can keep and use if you need to. There are other things like room changes that you can deal with if you want classes to move to rooms for internal exams and so on. And you can suspend classes, either individual classes or the whole year. If, for instance, year nine has gone on a trip for the whole year nine out of school. And when you do that, you can specify whether the teachers who are there by release, because now they're not teaching, they would have been teaching year nine, but now they're not, you can specify whether or not they should be used for cover first of all before anybody else is used for cover whole pile of things like that, awful lot of detail, but I hope that's given you a very quick outline of staff cover. And if you would like to look at the tutorial and use staff cover yourself, you can download a tutorial from www.timetabler.com and you can download this tutorial and play with it yourself. Thanks. Bye bye.